What's going on guys, I'm Valley 20 here, and I'm very excited to bring you guys this die cast. Uh, it is the uh, 2016 Kyle Larson Michigan race winner. So uh, man, been waiting for this uh, race version for a long, long while now. But uh, finally in, rolled up to uh, the Farner's Racing Collectibles last night, picked up uh, two new ones, and this was one of them. So you got the top of the box there, it's all the front, side, back and on this side. We've got the production number, Kyle Larson, Target Michigan first win, one of 787. So all this stuff that comes with it, got your uh, confetti, and uh, you got your race winner card. Mine didn't come with a race winner sticker, it should come with one. I didn't get one, for whatever reason. Yeah, Kyle Larson, Pure Michigan 400 winner, got the stats there, he only led 13 laps, but there you have it on the back. Larson stays out front. Our last race restart for first win. That was a pretty good race. Came down to him and Chase Elliott. Uh, I was I was really really excited to see Larson win. Uh, I think he's uh, I think he's got a bright future. And uh, I don't know. I'm a big fan of his driving style. I think he's a lot of fun to watch. So so on to the car. We'll go ahead and uh, start with the front as usual. So there you got the nose. It's pretty cool. You got uh, like the confetti kind of streamers all over the car hanging around. Uh, too bad they didn't didn't give out like one long piece of streamer for for every car that would have been pretty neat but uh i don't know just get the, the little pieces of confetti but yeah like i said just the the long streamers kind of all all over the car which is pretty neat looking got uh you got the hood there larson there most of it is covered in confetti which is pretty cool i i know some people like to see the or want the race versions just to be off the racetrack and that's it no confetti no nothing i I'm a big fan of confetti, especially the ones that are just covered in it. I think that looks pretty neat for whatever reason. We'll go ahead and lift up the hood. So you got the engine in there. Underneath you got Chevrolet, Target, and Wix. Get a decent look at the engine. Not great detail, but uh, is what it is. So uh, down the left side. Give you a good look at it there. Get focused in. There we go. So, uh, so yeah, like I said, uh, confetti pretty much all over the car. Uh, you get down to the to the rear, you can see it kind of bouncing. Both the uh, rear tires are all chewed up. Um, so uh, you could kind of see there the damage on the quarter panel, which is pretty cool because they did it on both sides of this. Um, I don't I don't feel like they've um, like on this one especially. Uh, I'd have to go back and look at some of my older race versions, but uh, I feel like they did a really, really good job with this because um, with the burnout, you can kind of see like um, it, on the real car, it kind of rolled up the quarter panel. And uh, I think they did a really, really good job with uh, the detail they did on the quarter panel because it does give it that rolled up kind of look. Um, especially, I'll give you a look at the bottom. One thing I was kind of looking at, it's painted all the way around to the bottom. And it's not really like curved or rolled or anything but it I don't know I just it just has that kind of rolled up look to it I feel like uh, they did a really really good job on that we'll go ahead and uh, go to the top here you got Kyle Larson 42 Connell on top roof flaps function let's come out a little bit more there you go so uh, yeah like I said both the both the rear tires all chewed up so go ahead and go to the back. We've got Energizer, Chevrolet. We've got a bit of confetti there on the deck lid. Uh, did numbers 300. We've got the fuel cell on the back. So then down to the right side again. Uh, this is pretty cool. I I, uh, I thought it was pretty neat. You can see a. Uh, you can see the streamers kind of come all the way from the windshield all the way down the right side, you know, across the windows. I think it looks pretty neat. I don't know. It's, uh, it's definitely a pretty cool race version. Um, so then again, like I said, you got the, the right rear there kind of rolled up. I think it looks even better on this side. Um, I don't know. I think it looks pretty good, especially from distance. Like it uh, definitely has that rolled up kind of look to it, especially when it's out of focus. Uh, but there you go. It looks really, really good. So uh, you get a good view of the whole right side there. So uh, so that's really about it. Now I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about a couple things with this car. Because there are, there are some issues I have with it. Um, so uh, 
I had the, and I was, I was looking at this car for a while, and I pulled up some of the reference photos just to look at a couple things. So, I guess we'll go ahead and start off. Um, I'll try to, I'll try to put some of the images on here. Um, I don't know how exactly I'm going to do it yet, but uh, I want to talk about a couple things on this car. Uh, first one being is uh, this left rear part here. I didn't really mention it a second ago, but uh, as you can kind of see here, I was wondering what this was. It looked like, um, I was assuming from the burnout, that uh, they kind of ripped a piece in the quarter panel here. I assume that's basically what it is. Um, I'm going to try to, uh, to chop it a photo of uh, the reference photo, but it looks like uh, from the photo, you can't really get a very good tell at it, but like the right side is kind of a little bit higher than the left side, so it looks like you kind of rip this piece right here so um you know i don't know it doesn't look all that great i guess um i don't know it's kind of hard to get a view of what it should really look like from the reference photo but um i got all these photos from the uh lionel racing forum so uh let's see here um uh, we'll go to the back bumper there's another thing i was looking at for whatever reason and i don't i don't really have any answers to, to any of the questions or any of these like little things with the cars that uh, don't match up with the reference photos, but uh, I don't know. On the back bumper, you can clearly see there's like confetti and stuff and kind of a little bit of a streamer there on the left side. It's weird. On the, the rear bumper, there's nothing really at all. No confetti whatsoever, so I don't really know what's up with that. Uh, of course, one of the big things with, the with, the, with this car is that uh, we'll go to the picture of the right rear, or the left rear, I'm sorry. Um, and this gives you a clear look at the paint scheme. Now, this is one of the big issues I have with this car, and they haven't seemed to get it right because it was it was wrong on the showdown um, win with uh, the Larson win too. The paint scheme, the paint scheme is not right, as you can clearly see. Like the the white to red transition, it's just not right. It's, I, I mean, you can see it clear as day. It's not right. Um, now some of this stuff. This is, a, this is a pretty rough race version, I would imagine, to, to replicate, right? You got damage on the car, you got this and that. So it's understandable that, you know, maybe some of the stuff they don't get right or they just had a rough time replicating that, you know, wasn't accurate or, or they just couldn't do correctly. But please, Lionel, please, at least get the, the, the paint scheme right. Don't, don't worry about the race version stuff first. Just get the paint scheme right. Um, for me, it's not really that big of an issue. Like, I want to I wanna have my die cast correct. Right, everybody does, but you know I'm not I'm not that picky to where I'm gonna sit in my collection every time I look at it. Ah, oh, Lionel and bastards, they didn't get the they didn't get the paint scheme right. It's just it's just not the same. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's rough, you know. You, it's it's kind of disappointing because it it seems like a pretty simple thing, like get the paint scheme right and then you you replicate the race version as best you can. But it wasn't right on this car and it wasn't right on the on the showdown win. So there's that. Um, other than that. I believe everything else is uh, is is pretty pretty spot on. Um, I noticed like on the right front they're missing a kind of streamer down the the right front here. But uh, I mean, like I, like I said, it's uh, a lot of confetti, a lot of things. I've never really can just sat down and and try to compare everything from reference photos to um, to just the car. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it makes me wonder how many of the little things I've missed like that because I've never really been like that kind of collector just to like get every single car and just try to find every little imperfection with it. Um, definitely want to start doing that more though because like I mean even even like the bigger stuff like I've noticed like and I get a lot of comments on how this isn't right and that isn't right and you know it's honestly it's not really that big of a deal for me. Like I said I want to get I want I want my cars to be right. But, um, you know, if, like, they get something wrong here and there, like the Tide car I reviewed, uh, my last review, like, you know, it was missing the quarter panel sponsor. I noticed that, but it's just not really that big of a deal for me. But, um, but yeah, there it is. Like I said, you know, missing a couple of things and a couple of things aren't right. But at the end of the day, you know, everybody's getting that, that this car and, you know, it's not like these people have it right and these people have it wrong. Like, everybody's getting the same, the same car. So, other than, like, the, um the paint scheme itself being wrong with the red to white transition it's it's a great race race version even like I'm, I'm not that picky like I can deal with it it's not that big of a deal for me but uh, I wanted to point out those little couple of things but uh, but there it is uh, the only other thing with this car and I've said this in past videos it's not just this one is that the brake dust on the rims especially like the white we'll try to give you a good look at this 
So there you have it on the car. I don't know how hard it is to replicate it, but they've never seemed to really get it right. I will try to pull up a picture of the, uh, let's go back to the right rear. This will, uh, I'll give you a screenshot there of the right rear on the car, the die cast and then pull up uh, the reference photo for the for the actual car. Like it's just way too dark and it just doesn't look right to me. I don't know. I don't know if they can possibly get it more accurate, but to me it just doesn't doesn't really look right. But uh, that's enough nitpicking. There it is guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, went full in depth of this one. I hope you, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. I uh, would definitely highly recommend uh, picking this one up. It's a great race version. Confetti everywhere, damaged, chewed up tires. I mean, there's not really much more that uh, that you would want out of a, of a out of a race version. So, like I said, highly recommend it. Appreciate you guys as always. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.